So guys, do I include HIIT training within the majority of my clients' programs? Mostly not. Now, if you're just simply looking to lose fat, then HIIT might not be the best way to go at all. We've found that actually the post burn, so to speak, post exercise is not as great as previously thought. And obviously you're gonna be doing HIIT for a much shorter time than you will be doing long steady state cardio. Also, the energy requirements of HIIT are dramatic in terms of your, you know, your vital, your energy as to going about your day. So you may find that your daily activity levels actually drop. So your step count might drop. So you might actually burn less calories overall when it comes to it. Now, this is something I was wrong about maybe 20 years ago. I was a big proponent of HIIT, but since come away from it because I found actually it does reduce clients' overall activity levels because it gives them extra fatigue. Now, as a proviso to that, though, if you're engaged in sports specific training, um, so to speak, I do program it in them because we want to develop the VO2 max system. But that is only within athletes that I'm training and only at very specific times and goal sets when we're coming up into various stages of their training block. As always, guys, any questions hit me up in the comments. I would be happy to answer them.